It's almost certain that on episode 2, Amanda is preparing to attack Wooly, and on episode 3, a part of Wooly was left on the ground, indicating that he was killed by Amanda. But that's if everything goes according to Amanda's plan, which it doesn't if we use the code LAMB. While Amanda is desperately telling us to type in meat, we ignore that at the butchers and type in lamb instead, which then prompted something or someone I like to call the guardian angel to give us the secret tape that will randomly appear out of thin air on our table. <laughs> Treasure map said the woods. Let's go. I think we're close to the treasure now. Aren't you excited, Wooly? After we start playing the secret tape against Amanda's will, Amanda suddenly shows up, acting like she didn't just act super suspicious, yelling at us in a really dark tone, and also trying to jump at Wooly at the very end. Instead, she's acting all innocent and friendly with Wooly again. Plus, this Wooly isn't freaking out with all of his movements and his body language and his terrified face like he was doing in front of and at the butcher's place. So this is definitely not something that's happening right after going to the butcher's because they're acting like that never happened. And of course, it can't be right before going to the butcher's either because at the end of this tape, Wooly exposes the crap out of Amanda. Someone. Okay, that's enough. Bah. And she turns into a monster and attacks him. So there's no way we just casually go to the butchers pretending like nothing happened at, right after that. Plus, if that was the case, I mean, Wooly would just be dead already. But he was clearly fine at the butchers. Well, terrified, but you know, still alive. This means that the entity opposing Amanda gave us this very specific portion of a set of a couple of tapes, maybe three, maybe four, who knows, just to show us this scene where a past Wooly, maybe the Wooly spelled with an IE instead of a Y that was shown in a previous secret tape, called out Amanda and finally completes our original Wooly's warning that was cut. Whatever you do, don't Showing that the entity in our present tape learned from this experience and made sure to cut off the future Wooly before he could actually give the warning. So this is pretty early on where the entity is making mistakes. And the warning of course being to stop watching the tapes and instead destroy it by burning or whatever. He just wants it gone. Which is what someone actually did as the tape continues showing, but the past Wooly didn't expect that right before the man would start setting fire to the tape, he would become possessed by something, possibly the demon, and be forced to not burn the tapes, which allowed it to be passed on to us, leaving us in this scary situation. So, to try to avoid this problem from happening a second time, the past Wooly, who became trapped inside the tape with the evil entity, somehow combined the two recordings of the man failing to burn the tapes into this secret tape so that it can use what limited power that it has to reveal the secret tape to us that the evil entity doesn't want us to see when we type in the code lamb, which would reveal the evil entity's true colors before their plans could come to fruition. That's why it was in such a panic and went so crazy when we didn't type in meat at the butchers and instead lamb. This is really likely if you think about how that past Wooly in the secret tape was heroic enough to sacrifice himself, saying, that's enough, I don't care what you do to me, just to prevent future victims from popping up. So if there was a chance that he somehow survived, it would be completely in character of him to just yet again oppose Amanda and help the viewer despite what could happen to him. So this leaves us with only one option. We have to listen to what our original Wooly was trying to warn us before being cut off and what the past Wooly who was able to actually warn us before Amanda got to him. We have to not play tape 3. But don't try to destroy the tapes because that could lead to being possessed. 
So maybe just like lock it in a safe, I guess? It seems like the man was doing fine handling the tape up until he tried to burn it. So maybe anything's fine as long as you don't try to destroy the tape itself. With that being said, if we don't play the last tape, then Amanda can't continue the show and finish off our original Wooly because she didn't even transform at the butchers yet like she did in the secret tape before attacking past Wooly. Meaning that as long as we don't continue the show, she then can't finish transforming and attacking our Wooly. So without the third tape being played, our Wooly is safe for now. This is all just a theory, but it feels right since the evil entity wouldn't want us to see any part of the secret tape since it exposes way too much of the evil entity. So this could only mean an opposing entity, maybe a guardian angel, is doing all of this just to save everyone, including Wooly. So tell me what you guys think. Subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you guys next time.